Hills. So please welcome Joel's Hills and Carolyn Fairburn onto stage now. Thank you, good man, enjoy, enjoy, be good. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. So from the inky blue deep space of the earlier session, we're going right down to the other end of the telescope now to eye level and where people live with a particular focus on cities and city regions, the places where people live, they shop, they go to school, they go to the theatre, and of course, where firms are deeply rooted. I have to say, I've been so struck during my first year and a week by how deeply rooted many of our companies are. The sense of place applies so much to businesses as well as to people. But cities really are a defining feature of our age, and they are changing so rapidly. And we're going to have a fantastic panel to talk about some of those changes. I'd like to pick on three that I think are some of the most important. So the first is really the extraordinary urbanization, not just of the UK, but of the world, this mass movement into cities that has been a defining feature of the last 50 years, particularly in Asia. By 2025, we expect there to be 600 cities accounting for a full 65% of GDP. This is McKinsey forecasting, and they project that 200 of those cities will be in China. These cities are the customers of the future, they are the competitors of the future, and they are our competitors and our customers today. I think one of the things it means for our cities and our city regions of the UK is we need to think really hard about who our competitors really are. That it's not Manchester competing with Leeds, it's Manchester competing with Marseille and Leeds with Stuttgart and a, a city in China and possibly a city in Africa that is just being born. So these are very important changes in terms of how we need to think about our cities. The second incredibly important change that is happening, of course, is technology. How that is creating new connections and new connectivities between people, between universities, between firms. And we've got two fantastic panelists who are going to talk more about that from Cisco and JLL. How we make the most of our, of our universities and how we make the most of the kind of environment we can create for an environment of enterprise the Prime Minister was talking about so eloquently this morning. The third really significant change I think we've seen in cities in recent years, though, is that also of leadership. What we have been seeing around the world, and in many, many examples, is how important the role of a great leader. Uh, so whether you talk about um, the, the, the city of Baltimore, the city of, uh, of Philadelphia, um, the city of, of, of Lyon, and I have to say, the city of Denver. And we are delighted to be able to welcome Michael Hancock today from such uh, a, a long journey he has made to be with us to talk about uh, leadership uh, of Denver and what an extraordinary difference he has made. Made. But we have fantastic examples here in the UK as well. Leadership in Manchester, in Leeds, in Cardiff, our cities around the UK. And of course, now we're going to have a new generation of mayors. And that ability to have people that business can do business with is proving to be a very important part of the whole city regeneration story. But before I hand back to Joel uh, and, and the panel, I just wanted to say a few words about why I think right now it is so important to be thinking about cities and city regions. We know and we have heard some very powerful voices about the economy and the fact it is not working for everyone. We know it. We know that productivity differences across the UK are just too great. We've been doing some work at the CBI. The productivity in Tower Hamlets is three times the productivity of Blackpool. That translates into living standards, that tr translates into opportunities, it translates into opportunities for the next generation and for the children of, of people of those, of those areas. And we need to make a difference to that. And when we talk about the opportunity of this new economy that we, that we, 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 we can build, one of the biggest priorities that we believe at the CBI is to make a real difference to regional productivity, to close those gaps. London is the most fantastic 
world-class city, and we have to keep it that way. But we need to have more growth outside London. And the role of cities and city regions in that is going to be absolutely vital. We've been doing some work over the last year, very uh, intense work, trying to understand the drivers of these regional productivity differences. Why is there such a gap between different regions of the UK and even within them? There are some, there are some glaring uh, factors that emerge. We're going to be talking about this in more detail at the beginning of December. But the importance of schools and education. What we have found is one of the biggest drivers, indeed the biggest driver, of productivity differences in the UK is the qualifications of our young people at the age of 16. And that's because labour mobility is relatively low in the UK. The workforce is drawn from the local environment. We need to drive equality and standards in our schools across the UK, a huge priority. A second a second feature that is coming out of our work is the importance of connectivity between cities, not just London to the rest of the country, but the connectivity between the cities of the UK to create the labour pools and the, and the, and the labour markets that can fuel these new cities of the future. These are some of the findings. We're going to be talking much more about it in, in early December. But the, the key point is the growth of our cities outside London is going to be a very important part of our future economy. So I'd just like to conclude before handing back to Joel by saying I do think we have a golden opportunity to really think about technology in our cities, connectivity in our cities, education of our young people. And I really look forward to working with you over the next year to really try and make that true of London, yes, but other cities across the UK. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>